So I'm just about to begin the third project for the new year. The two first two are behind me. You can see the little cottage and our brand new paper sculpture, which would be perfect for uh, an anniversary or a wedding gift. Uh, but today we're gonna put together what we call a cup of cheer. And it's a cute little coffee or tea mug uh, that you can fill with some treats, maybe for uh, a birthday present, or maybe someone has the flu or trying to get well from a cold and you want to do something to brighten up their day. And uh, that is what we're gonna make today. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, it's basically a cup. There is a little platform that the cup sits on, which is what I'm holding in my hand right now. So what we want to do is get this thing ready to go by folding everything at the score marks. And then we're just going to assemble our little base here. And then the actual cup itself isn't too bad because uh, it's made of two pieces that are kind of interconnected and we just need to sort of form it into its final shape. And then we've got some panels. And for those of you that have made some of our little animals like the penguin, um, the scarecrow, the turkey, that process is gonna be very familiar to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you can see that there are a series of little triangles here on each of these rectangles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect them together. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each of these little triangles and then just connect it with its neighboring piece. Just making sure that everything sits nice and vertically and get that nice and aligned. Just hold it and give it a squeeze. And the tabs are really small. The surface area is very minimal. So it should only take a few seconds for each of these little triangles to grab a hold. Be uh, very sparse with the glue and it'll make the process even quicker. Just get it nice and lined up, give it a squeeze. So I always like to kind of start with the simple things here. And this isn't really one of the most prominent parts of the piece, so it's a good, good little area to kind of start with to get your, get your feet wet, especially if this is a, a project that, well, maybe because of the holidays, just like myself, I feel like when I came in to start working on the new stuff, I felt a little rusty. And it's always good to kind of just do something small and quick, just to kind of get a feel for it. I'm sure that, I'm sure that that feeling transcends to, to other things in life as well. Maybe cooking, sewing, playing guitar, or any instrument for that matter painting. Okay, so I'm just going around, putting a little bit of glue on the triangular tabs and joining it to the neighbor. Okay. <clears throat> and just give that a squeeze and we're almost there. A couple more. There we go. I'm kind of using the, the tip of the nozzle to kind of blot it or kind of dab the glue. It makes it a little more tacky, thins it out a bit, and it just makes it set that much faster. If you overdo it with the glue, you're going to spend 30 seconds to a minute on each of these little pieces, and that is way too much time to spend on a tiny little tab like this. So less is more in this case. Yeah, a little more there. <laughs> okay, there we go. And what I'll probably end up doing is using this part as the top since uh, it's already been connected. It's already connected to all these pieces. So we'll just make this the bottom since it's less perfect because we had to glue it. Final little tab here. And we're gonna connect it to this piece here that has our little, I think this is a hexagon, 
No, I think it's 10 sides. I don't even know what that is. Is that a dodecahon? A dodecahon? Dodecahedron? Something like that. I think I'm channeling uh, a children's book here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just put some glue on these tabs here, get a little bit on the inside, and then I'm gonna run a nice thin line along the perimeter here to make sure that I get a nice clean little seam all the way around, make it look really nice and polished. Probably just end up using my finger here to spread that out and just kind of blot it all the way up to the edge here. Gotta work quick, this stuff's been drying really quick because of the lack of humidity. And then you can kind of flare these out a little bit so that as we're pushing this piece down, it grabs more of that surface area. And I would focus on this section here, opposite the opposite side of where it was already connected and make sure that that lines up perfectly first and then work your way around the remaining sections. Okay. Now when we're done with this, to kind of decorate it and bling it out a little bit more, um, we're going to be using this little strand of rhinestones. Okay. All right. The, uh, the rhinestone banding, as it's called. We're gonna, I'm going to glue that on there all the way around. We'll do that later. I'm gonna let this set for now. So that was pretty easy, right? Okay, so we have our little base. We can put that off to the side. And um, well, we can just get right into it and put together our little structure here. So we'll grab one piece and just start folding. This is the side here that the handle is gonna go in. And we decided on a dimensional handle for this project. And also, you'll notice that on this piece here, these inner pieces, there's three tabs that are bendable. Uh, one that is also bendable, you can fold it, but we're not really gonna put any glue on it. That's just kind of there to prevent any light from popping out. Not that we're gonna put a candle in this, but uh, it's just to kind of make it look more seamless, but it's not really enough to um, put any glue on. And we've done that a few times in the past with a few projects, so it's nothing new if you are a veteran dreamer. Okay, and what I might wanna do is actually just connect this and make it all one piece rather than trying to do it later on. So why don't we do that real quick? Let's get everything folded here first, and then we'll get all of these, these two pieces kind of connected together and just make it one piece before we start gluing these tabs together to form the actual little coffee or teacup. Okay. There we go. All right, so pick a side, any side. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take and glue these tabs, this tab here, to this side here. And then we won't worry about the rest of it. We'll just get that in place. And I think what I'm gonna do is, once I get this glued, I'm gonna let this set for a minute or two before we start rattling it around and moving it around and gluing all the tabs together. So grab your other piece, just get it nice and aligned. Make sure it's nice and level here at the top and press that down. And when it gets its initial grip, what you can do is fold it over onto itself. It should pretty much have a mirror image of the piece below it. And that little edge there should be nice and aligned. And that's how you know that you've got it aligned nicely and accurately. That'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a push. And I'm going to I'm just put that off to the side and let that cure for a few minutes before we start jostling it around. In the meantime, what we can do is work on our little handle. Okay, so the handle is comprised of these five pieces here. 
These two pieces are gonna go onto the exterior of the handle, um, what I'll call the bones of the handle. These would be the bones. These are just gonna cover up the tabs that, um, that we're gonna have on here as a result of creating this handle. So uh, first things first, what we're gonna do is this little tab here, this is gonna be the top. It's a small little tab. Okay, this is gonna be a tab that we're gonna to use to actually um, connect this to the inside of our little cup. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna start off by, uh, you'll notice also on this piece, there's one tab that's a little bit longer, one tab that's shorter. The shorter tab is gonna go on top. Okay, it's gonna go up here like this. And what we're doing is we're gonna take these little tabs and glue them to the exterior of the little handle like this. Okay, so let's get it anchored first. Just throw one little drop of glue on the first tab at the top here. Again, with the smaller tab at the top. And just align that nice and flush up against the handle, making sure that there's a line here for this tab and there's a line here for this tab. Make sure they're on the same plane, meaning they're nice and lined up. And just hold that in place for a moment. Okay, and then once that's set, you'll notice that you can wrap it around and it should meet perfectly down there at the bottom. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's put this flat on our table like this. Okay, so I've got this tab connected and I've got these tabs down on my table. I'm just gonna put just a little drop of glue here, one tiny, tiny little drops of glue. You don't need a lot. And then what we can do is we can take and tuck these tabs underneath and push from the outside as we're pushing down from the inside. Just kind of using our table to guide us and, and give us that leverage to push down and not warp this thing. If you try to kind of, you can squeeze it between your fingers here, but I think the table just makes quick work of this. All right, now we can take the remaining four tabs here. Just put a little drop of glue on each of the tabs, fold them in, and then you can see how, how that is. I'm putting it underneath and pushing, pushing in towards this piece here from the outside as I push down from the inside, okay? And we're not worried about putting anything dimensional on there and, and the inside, I think it's just too much work and it really just is too much work and not worth it, I don't think, okay? So that's that. Now we're gonna take this piece and let's get this folded. These two tabs here are also gonna be used to anchor this piece to, uh, to the inside of the cup. So we have this shape like this. We're gonna pop this in here and we're gonna take this tab here. We're gonna anchor that just like we did on the first side here. Okay, so just make sure that that is nice and lined up. And just give that a squeeze and hold that in place for just a moment while it sets. Make sure that it's nice and flush up against this piece, just like that. Okay, and we can put this down on our table, flare out these little tabs here, these little teeth, you can see them there, and just dot, 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 dot. And I'm gonna put this flat on my table. The idea is to glue these. We can do it this way, I can show it to you this way. And we're just gluing them right to the structure here making sure that we're pushing this up against, as far as it'll go, up against this piece here. Okay, and if you want, again, just like I did the first time, dot, 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 you can put it down on your table and just push from the outside here as you push down in here. So either way, whatever, whichever way is more comfortable for you, just as long as you get the same end result. That's all that really matters. Okay, and I have one tab that just said, hey, I need more glue if you want me to stick, boy. And I'm not gonna argue with them. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. So now we can take these two tabs here and what we're going to do is we're going to close this up. Okay. So let's move this out of the way temporarily and throw a little bit of glue on these two tabs here. Make sure you get the glue out to the edge here. And I'm just going to dab that, make sure that I've got it fully covered. And we can close that up. Make sure that it's nice and aligned. And if you have a little dowel, you can flip this onto your table and push down from the inside to get that to stick. There we go. Okay. And again, these tabs here are what we're going to use to glue this thing to the inside here. So we're not doing that right now. I just want to illustrate this for you so you can see what the intent is. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. And finally, last step here, this piece here is going to cover up the little tabs that we created there by assembling this piece. So get your glue on this piece here. Make sure you get it out to the very edges. I want that to look nice and clean. And just line that up. And there should be enough room in on that side there to get your finger in there. And then just press firmly, but gently along the edge here to make sure that that adheres. There we go. And same thing on the other side. And our handle will be complete and ready for installation. Okay. Just line that up nicely right along the edge, flush with the top. There we go. I definitely feel more in the groove now. Those holidays, they get to you. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> handle's done. We've given this thing um, given this piece ample time to dry. And what we're going to do now is just start connecting these tabs together to start forming our little cup. So remember, there was that one little area there that looks like a tab, but we're not actually going to glue it. We folded it just ever so slightly, but we don't really need to put glue on that. It's too small to, to do anything with. So get your glue on that first little tab and just connect it following the curve. Just making sure that it kind of follow that curve there. Make sure that the edges connect together nicely. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay. And I'm just kind of flipping this over so I can get my glue in from the inside. And I'm just kind of brushing that glue on very, very thin so that I don't have to spend too much time on each little tab. And that should do it. It should go pretty quick. So flip that back over and start getting your glue on the next tab here. I think my glue bottle is starting to, I think it needs to, needs a vacation. Okay. And there's the next one. The nice thing about this is since all these pieces are pretty much mostly joined, the form on this thing is going to be pretty darn perfect because all you have to do is just connect a few pieces together. Okay. So moving on to the next section here, and we're literally just going to repeat this process until we get this whole thing joined together. Now, as this thing starts to come together, it's, it's going to fight you a little bit as far as figuring out how to position your fingers to get it optimal, to get them in the optimal place to glue all this stuff down, but you'll get it. Okay. So as I mentioned, 
we're literally going to do this uh, what, seven more times, I think. So if you're comfortable with this and you understand what's going on here, all I'm doing now is just taking this next tab that I put glue on and connecting it to this structure here. Just getting it nice and aligned and squeezing. You can feel free to kind of scrub through the video to the next part. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is put the bottom on this thing. Um, so when you see me pick these up, you know to stop and get ready for the next section. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to go through this here. You can see this next tab here, just putting some glue on it. And it literally just kind of snaps into place. It, it knows where it needs to go. We just have to take it there. There we go. Okay, moving right along. Next little tab here. Yeah, we can maybe just do two. And I'm gonna have to clean my glue bottle here, I bet. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, it is actually New Year's Eve right now. We'll be releasing this on New Year's Day. And this is where it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of hard to get my hand in there. And I will say that you know, I hope that everybody got what they wanted for Christmas and you were on the nice list. I know my favorite, my favorite gift this year was uh, I got a, a year long subscription um, of hot sauces. Yeah. So every month I get, I get a box full of, I get a box full of hot sauces. I'm super excited about that. Okay, next little tab here. And I'm still kind of, now that we've got the majority of this thing together, the paper's starting to kind of get in the way a little bit. So you got to figure out what's the most comfortable way of getting your hand in there to kind of squeeze those tabs closed. And I think it's going to be a matter of just moving things out of the way as you go. Okay, so I literally just stabbed myself with uh, some wire, trying to clean out my glue bottle, hence the new bottle. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. And moving right along here to our next little tab. And again, I think the best way to do it is just kind of like this. Just get your hand in there. Just make sure that you're following the natural curve here. And I can already tell that sometimes the older bottles, they kind of get caked up a little bit and it's a little bit easier to get less glue on there. Well, as you can see, that's way too much. And that's way too much there. So there's pros and cons of using a kind of a caked up bottle. But we'll make it work. Just have to be patient with this part here. And then the rest of it should be pretty much smooth sailing here. Just have to connect these tabs and just make sure that you just follow that angle nicely and accurately. like that. And if you get a little bit of glue that smears out, it's not the end of the world because we're going to be putting panels over this. But try to be try to be as neat as you can. Okay. 
you know what I might do just to kind of make things a little bit easier is I'm going to start on this side here and work on the side here that doesn't have as much paper kind of getting in my way. And you can see here, this new bottle, the glue just flows so much more freely and even the smallest little squeeze pumps out a bunch. So you just, you know, it's kind of like, um, I always kind of use the guitar as a metaphor, but it's really any instrument or uh, a sewing machine or an oven or, uh, you know, anything that you get used to, or even like driving a car. Sometimes you, when you drive or get a new car, it doesn't feel the same until you get the feel for it. So, you know, master, master the glue bottle and get a feel for how much you need to squeeze out just to make life easier. Cause you don't need all that glue spilling out. You don't need to be cleaning it up. Just get enough on there to get the job done and then move along, move along. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of going on the other side here just to make it easier on myself to get these pieces connected. So there's not as much stuff in the way. And then it's going to get a little bit tougher as we get towards the center there, because there's going to be a lot of paper kind of fighting for position, but we'll get it. Okay. Last little tab on this section and I'm getting to see, I'm already getting a feel for this new bottle here. And if you do get too much, just dab some of it off, just blot it. Get it out of there and bam, just like that. <clears throat> okay. So we've got one, two, three more sections to put together and then we're going to close it up. So that'll go nice and quick. And you know what I'm going to do is since I have this like that, I'm just going to, just going to get my glue on all three of these tabs. It's coming out a lot thicker and I think, you know, there might be some science behind this, but I think maybe the newer glue bottles, the glue stays tacky and doesn't dry as quick. So I can do all three tabs at once. That worked out nicely. <clears throat> I guess I'll put it this way. If I did the same project a thousand times, I would figure out so many little tips and tricks for that one project, but it's not often that we do the same thing over and over and over again when it comes to paper crafting. So when I'm putting this stuff together, I'm kind of learning along the way. I'm using my past experiences to help me make, you know, educated decisions on how to do certain things and how to be efficient and clean and things of that nature. But, um, it's always going to be a learning experience. So don't get frustrated if things don't work out the first time. And of course, as long as you follow along with me for the most part, you should be, should be pretty good. All right. So now we're going to connect this little section here. And again, we've got two little areas here that are kind of fighting for space. So I just need to kind of move it out of the way. You can see the tabs there that I need to get my glue on. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to put a little dot on there and then probably use my finger to get it out to the very edges because it's, it's hard to kind of finagle that, that glue bottle into place sometimes. Okay. So here we go. Last few little sections here. I think it was very helpful to move on to the opposite side and work on that side and kind of meet in the middle. So definitely take that little tip and use it when assembling this piece. Okay. Now get the last part here. Just hold that, let that set. And then we're just going to join the two sides here. There we 
go. And I'm going to start with this large tab here. Let's see how much easily, how much more easily that that glue is flowing here. There we go. Okay. And there's going to be a little bit of resistance here. But just make sure that you get it nice and lined up there at the top. There we go. Perfect. All right. So there you have it. And we've got just uh, four more little tabs there. You can see the little teeth. I'm going to pull those down so I can get my glue on there. I'm just going to drop a couple little dots on there. And then I'm going to smudge it <clears throat> and kind of dab it with my finger. I got way too much on those last two, or the first two. There we go. I'm going to connect the bottom first and then get the other pieces in place. There we go. And the, the rest of the pieces should just kind of fall into place there. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, so that worked out nicely. We'll give that a few seconds to set. Okay. All right, so our main structure is in place here. And what we want to do next, we've got two pieces here that look like this. One has a little L cut into it. That is our liner that's going to go on the inside. This piece we're going to connect to the outside here. And it's going to go like that. I might need to kind of nudge things around a little bit. And this piece here is more or less just to kind of hold this together. Uh, it may, because of, you know, because of those variables that I talked about in some of my videos, it may not fit perfectly and that's okay. No one's going to see it. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. We just want to kind of keep this thing together and I'll start on one side here and glue one side down. Just get it nice and aligned. Nice and straight, just about flush up against the little score marks there. Give that a squeeze. Make sure it sticks. There we go. Okay. And then we are going to have to kind of do this all in one shot here. And I'm just going to do just a tiny little bit of glue on the inside here. And I'm getting a better feel for my glue bottle. And then right up to the edge here. And actually, you know what? I, do your best to, to get a nice clean seam here, but don't obsess over it because no one's going to see it. It's going to be kind of covered up by the little base that we're going to attach it to. So it's not a huge deal. And if you get a little glue that spews over onto the, in my case, purple, that doesn't matter either because we've got panels going over this too. So not a big deal. Okay, so let's flap that down. Focus on this side, opposite side of where this little piece is already hinged and try to get that in place. And then you're gonna need to kind of nudge things in inward a little bit to get the placements to be accurate. And there's a little resistance there, so you may need to kind of hold it in place a little bit. Okay. That's good enough. Let's flip it over and we can push from the inside. And if the glue is still kind of tacky and not fully set, we can kind of scooch things around inside as well. And that's good enough. Okay, let's uh, throw some glue on the inside here and take this liner piece and just pop that in there. And that's going to kind of make this thing a little more structurally sound. There we 
There we go. Okay. All right, so there's our cup. Um, I think the next thing we're gonna do is, well, we kinda have to. We can either start on the inside or the outside. I think I prefer to work on the outside first. We've got these panels here, and we are going to glue these panels on. And for those of you that have worked on some of the projects with us uh, in the past, you know that we don't need to put glue on the entire thing. What we're gonna do is just put a little bit right at the top, and we're gonna start there. Make sure you get it all the way out to the very top of that, and just pick a side and align it with the very top there. Make sure that it's nice and flush. You can run your fingers along the top there to kind of help you with the alignment. Give that a squeeze. Make sure that that sticks. Don't need to really put glue on the rest of it because when we glue the bottom, it's gonna kind of hug the rest of the cup here, like that. Now, I guess, you know what, if you want, you can throw a little, just a little bit of glue here on the sides. I don't think it's necessary, but maybe it'll make it look a little cleaner. Okay, and then put some glue on the bottom. Yes, yeah, so I'm using my fingers, and that's okay. There's no right or wrong way. And then just peel that down, or fold it down, press it down. And there we go. Okay. So that looks pretty darn good. And then if you notice that maybe there's parts that are kind of hanging off and not completely flush with the actual structure of the cup, you can always go in and paint some glue on there to get that to stick. Okay, but that looks, that looks pretty good. So um, I'll do a couple more with you. Now keep in mind that when we get to this side here, you want, obviously you wanna make sure that you use the correct panel the one that has a little cutout already built into it. Okay, so we'll do that one last. Uh, I'll do a couple more here with you. And you know what, I think for, just based on this shape here, I think maybe we should do a little bit of glue around the perimeter. It's not hugging it like it usually does. So I'm just gonna go very sparse with the glue along the edge here. And we'll see if that looks any better. Okay, just lining it up, making sure that it's nice and flush with the top. That should, and just kind of pressing as I go on my way down along the sides here, just to make sure that they make contact with the cup. Yeah, and it does look like adding a little bit of glue on the sides there, it does kind of help it stick better. I think it's just based on the shape, it's not sitting as well if we just put glue here and here like we did in some of the past projects. So let's, uh, let's continue that. Let's do that all the way around. Let's actually put glue on the entire perimeter of the panel. All right, so let's get another one going here. And then I think after this one, I think you pretty much get the idea here. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of cut and meet back at the next little step here. And boy, is there is quite a difference between this bottle of glue and my last one that I was using initially in this video. This one's really, even the quality of the glue is different. So uh, I guess that's just a, a learning experience there. Something to keep in mind as well if you're you know, if your glue doesn't dry as fast as mine, maybe it's because my glue's a little bit older. And, you know, there's all these different variables that I keep talking about, so it's, it's a legit thing. Okay, just kind of press that down along the edges there, make sure that they get good contact with the actual structure. And there you go. Okay, so it's coming along here. And uh, as I mentioned, just go ahead and continue with this process until we get all of the panels on there. And then we'll meet up at the end here where we put the panel on the final little piece here that has the handle. 
Okay, so I've got my panels on here, all except for the last one with the little handle, and it's not really any different. It's just, I just wanted to kind of have a, an end point where I can segue from uh, one section to another. So I wanna kinda do this with you. And I did kinda decide that it might be best to put glue on the actual perimeter all the way around the panels here, just so that they sit nicely. Okay, and let's get that nice and lined up, making sure that we don't obstruct the little cutout there for the handle. And just work your way down, just kind of squeezing as I work my way down. And then down here, I kind of put my hand inside, hand outside and give that a press to get that to squeeze. Take a look at both sides if there's any areas that might be not as flat and flush on the uh, structure there. Give it an extra squeeze and there it is with the panels on. Kind of looks like, uh, well, I don't know, looks like, um, looks like ceramic actually, if I'm gonna be honest here. Um, okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, let me take a look here. Let's just get our handle in place before we put everything else on. So we're gonna take the tabs here <clears throat> and just gonna feed them through this little, this little hole like that. Okay, and then from the inside, what we're gonna do is just put glue on those tabs and just kind of spread them out along the inside of our little structure here. So you don't need to get a whole ton of glue in there, but get enough. Hopefully you can see that. There it is. Okay, make sure it's nice and flush, and then just take it and fold it up against the inside of the mug, or the cup, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, there we go. And then I can do, let's just do the other side here. I'm gonna put some glue on this tab. I'm gonna get it on here and then I'll show you on camera what I'm doing. You can see the other tab there, hopefully. Uh, there it is. It's kind of dark. There we go. I just put some glue on that tab there. And I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and flush and just press it up against the inside of the cup, just like we did with the other side. There we go. And that just leaves two little tabs inside, the top one and the bottom one. Just throw a little glue on that one, press it up against the inside. And just hold that for a second while it sets. And then we've got the bottom one there. Just a little dot of glue will do. And just push that up against the inside and give it a press. There we go. All right, so there's our little handle. Very cute. And that just leaves um, the little inner liner and the outer liner. We did the inner part with red and it's all mostly connected. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with like a middle piece here, get that glued, and then glue the rest of it around. We didn't go all the way down because we, you're gonna fill this with little goodies. So we didn't want to waste a bunch of paper and create a lot more effort here. But all we need to do is just make sure that you get enough glue right up at the top and then at the bottom. Start in the middle and uh, pick a side, doesn't matter which side, doesn't matter where, and pop it into one of those little sections. Make sure that where the score lines are, it meets up with the section there. Make sure it's nice and flush with the top. Okay, and then once that's in place, you can peel this back and throw a little bit of glue at the bottom and then get some glue up at the top and we're gonna spread that glue right up to the very edge here so that it doesn't come pulling apart right at the top, okay? And wipe off any excess there that may have gotten out of control and just pop it right in there. Just squeeze it right at the top, make sure it's nice and flush with the rim. Okay, so onto the other side here. 
And again, just throw a little bit of glue towards the bottom just so it sticks and then get enough glue up at the top so that we can kind of spread it right up to the very edge so that that has a nice clean seam there. There we go. And I'll just connect that. Just kind of nudge it up or down so that it is nice and flush with the, uh, the rim. There we go. Perfect. And same thing on the other side. Let's grab the other half of this. And we'll start in the middle. And this will be my top. I'll just throw a little bit here on the bottom just so it sticks. And we'll just get the middle part anchored to make life easier for the rest of it. Okay, and this is gonna go here. Just press that right up against there. It should just kind of fit in with the, there's little score lines from the structure. So they should just kind of nudge right in there perfectly. Make sure it's nice and flush with the rim again. And then just peel this back and get a little bit of glue towards the bottom just so it sticks. And then a nice line right up at the top. And I'm going to spread that out nice and thin right up to the very edge. And just wipe off any excess that you may have there. And just press that up against the interior. Make sure it's flush. Give it a little squeeze. That looks good. And the last little section here. Again, just throwing a little glue at the bottom just so it sticks. And a nice line right at the top. Spreading it right up to the very edge. There we go. And that's also going to close up the little hole for the handle and make everything look nice and seamless. There we go. And just make sure you squeeze that top there so it looks all nice and polished. Okay. So that only leaves, <clears throat> let's take a break from the main structure here for just a moment. And let's do something real simple. Let's take a breather. Okay, so we've got a little tag that you can put on this just to kind of pretty it up a little bit. Nice little embellishment. We're gonna glue this piece to this piece. Just trying to make sure that we get it nice and centered and just use the little hole there as your guide, just like that. Press that down. And you got a little glue that popped out of there. And the snowflake looks like, looks kind of weird because it's cut off, but that's because it's cut off where the hole is and that's totally fine. So I'm just gonna do little dots here. We don't need a lot of glue and I definitely don't want it squirting out. So I'm just gonna kind of hit it with just little dots of glue throughout. That's all we really need. If you feel like you got too much in any area, just kind of give it a little dab. And then the part that looks cut off, just match that up with the little hole for the string. So I've got some nice silver string that I'm going to use to tie this around the handle. Okay, you can put someone's name on the back of it, to and from, things of that nature. We're going to jazz this up with some rhinestones. So take a look at the final photo for that information. Um, so that's that. Again, that's just gonna go on a silver string hanging off of the uh, little handle there. And finally, we have some little snow, snow drift, uh, just a little panel. And again, what you wanna focus on here is just making sure that with this section here, you get that aligned, this little section that looks a little different than the other ones, that's gonna go over the handle. Okay, so that is pretty important that you get that in the right spot. And that's just gonna go around like that. Okay, so just like we've done before, I'm gonna kind of start in the middle here and start in the middle section. You wanna make sure that you get that glue right up to the very top 
so that that looks nice and seamless there. Okay, and again, I'm gonna make sure that I get this aligned correctly. Okay, and it's gonna start there. And give that a good press, make sure it's nice and aligned, nice and flush with the rim. Give that a good squeeze. There we go, just like that. And then we can peel these areas back and apply our glue a little bit just on the bottom, but definitely a nice line right up at the top. Spread that out to the very edge and just fold that over. Should fit perfectly, just like that. And just press that right up against the other layers here. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we can pull back these two layers here. <clears throat> A little bit of glue on the bottom here. Definitely want to get glue right along the edge of that and the top. We don't want that peeling off. And just fold that over like that. Should meet perfectly. Make sure it's nice and level. There we go. Perfect, okay. And then that just leaves the other half of it. You can see how cute that looks. Get that folded. Again, we're kind of starting the center here. And just make sure that you get that aligned correctly. Okay, so let's do the middle part here. Get some glue right there. And then right up at the top, spread that nice and thin. And before you apply it, make sure that you have counted right and you've got it in the right section. I did. There we go, give that a press. Just like that. And then this should meet pretty much perfectly right there, as you can see. That's as good as it's gonna get, which is pretty, pretty dead on. Throw a little glue on these sections here. Get that right out to the edge and the top. Perfect. And just fold that over. Position it and glue it down. Nice and flush with the top. There we go. Beautiful. Last three little sections here. Whoops. I went a little crazy with the cheese whiz here. Perfect, 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 and bam. Beautifully done. Great engineering from the Dreaming Tree team. Okay, so there's our little cup. Okay, the tag is ready to go. Last thing we need to do is put our little base on. And we're just gonna glue that on like that. So I'll just throw a little glue on here throw some on there and then find the nicer bottom. And then I'm gonna do a line along the perimeter here. Just spread that out to the very edges. Like that. And just get that lined up. And press that down. Just hold it for a few seconds until it's made full contact and it's starting to kind of set. Just hold that in place. And then um, 
we're gonna take and uh, you know just take a, a cellophane bag, fill it with some treats, and just tie it with a bow. And it's ready to go as a cute little, you can see that. It's a good size actually. Could fit a, a decent sized gift. And you know, it's gonna look great with patterned papers, um, whatever you decide to do with it. And also one other thing that we're gonna do, and this is totally optional. It's just a little embellishment that we're gonna do. I'm gonna put um, these little, this little rhinestone banding all the way around the top as well as on the bottom and then also on the handle here like this just to kind of jazz it up and give it a little more sparkle but again that's totally optional and uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this project so um, hopefully you had a, a fun experience with me here and if you did please take a moment to hit that subscribe button on our youtube channel if you make this or any of the projects from our new bundle including the little cottage or the paper sculpture. We'd love to see it. So definitely join us in the Dreaming Tree group on Facebook. Just head over to Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree group, join myself. And I think we're almost at about 9,000 um, dreamers that inspire us constantly. So thank you again for joining me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.